Hey everybody, it's Eugene Lisho here and just some quick tips on Cloud Compare. And a really important point with Cloud Compare is that is there's no undo button. There's no control Z and there's no way to go back once you perform an operation on a point cloud. And so this is a source of frustration for a lot of people because they do something and they didn't mean to do it. And then all of a sudden they got to start over from scratch. So it's really important to know about the clone tool and the merge tool, both super, super helpful and useful. So let's say, for example, that I have this point cloud here and I'm going to perform some kind of an operation to it, whether I'm going to cut it apart or I may do something, whatever. Really what you want to do is clone it first so that you can do whatever you want and that if you mess up, you can always go back to the original. So there's a button up here. You have to have the point cloud selected and then you'll see here clone the selected entities and there's a little inside joke here it says yes Claire these are nine sheep okay so I'm just going to click on that and right away it uses a separate uh, it creates like a separate entity uh, underneath or outside of the original folder and it's called roadway clone so if I'm going to be doing something with this now I'm actually going to shut off the original okay and this way you see if I toggle this one on and off there's nothing there so this is good if I perform an operation on this particular point cloud. Now, let's say, for example, I'm going to, I don't know, cut out a section or something like that. Well, let's say I'm going to take this and I'm going to use the editing tools up here. Click on that. And I'm just going to do a quick just sort of outline. And I'm going to cut out a piece of this road because for whatever reason, it may have been important for me. So I'm just going to segment this out and I'm going to click the checkbox so that I have both. So you'll see here I have the uh, small bit that I've cut out and then I have sort of the outside part that I may not really want. So now they're both apart and let's say, I don't know, I'm going to work on this particular or let's say I'm, I'm, I'm only interested in this little piece of the road and then on the outside, I don't know, I, I cut it off or something like that. So I've got this big piece and I'm not interested in all this other stuff that's out here. I can go back and edit it. So let's say I just go and I'm just going to take this piece that I want. Now always make sure that you select the part of the point cloud that you're interested in working in. I'm going to go to the edit tools and I'm just going to make a big cut across here. And let's say that I only want to keep the part that I've outlined here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, get rid of everything uh, on the outside. And I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, what's on the outside and keep what's on the inside. So now what I have are two entities here. I've got the outside portion and I've got this little inside portion of the roadway, but they are separate now. So a really quick way now, if this is this part of the point cloud is now what I want to keep, I can just select both by holding down the shift key. And then what I want to do is come up here where it says merge multiple clouds. You'll see they're both selected by the outlines here. And once I merge, it'll ask me if I want to generate a scalar field with the original cloud index. So what that's going to do is it's going to color each point cloud differently. And I may or may not want that. So if in the future I want to determine which points belong to one section or the other, I might keep that, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to say no. And basically I now have a merged point cloud here with the two uh, segments that I've put back together. So those are two quick tips when you're performing operations. Make sure to make a clone and operate on the clone so you can go back to the original. There's no undo. And if you're performing separate uh, functions or, or editing different point clouds and you want to merge them back together, make sure to just select them and you can merge them back together really, really easily. Thanks a lot, everyone, and take care. Bye-bye.